Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Chadi McEwen Guzda. Yes, I'm the person with the very long name and I am a board certified practitioner and I am also here to teach you how to integrate wellness and transformation into your everyday. So where are we going to start today? It is such a big topic, but I want to talk to you today about action-based mindfulness. Now, this is something I've coined myself, so I am thrilled to introduce you to my trademark movement. So action-based mindfulness, and you'll also hear me refer to it as ABM. So what is action-based mindfulness? So ABM is actually the practice of bringing mindfulness into your everyday activities and your everyday actions. So it's not about sitting there in meditation. I know, I can see you picturing it, sitting there on a mountain in meditation, just allowing all your thoughts to like come and go. It's not about that at all. It's actually action-based. So it is about being fully present in whatever you are doing whether you're walking, eating, working, you're giving a presentation, you're working with your team, you're looking for your next big idea. It's about being fully immersed in the present. So I'll introduce you to a very powerful practice that might sound incredibly easy, but once you put this into motion, you will completely understand the beauty of it. So this is mindful walking. So next time you're taking a walk, whether it be in the park, to your office, to your favorite coffee shop, to your gym, I want you to really focus on the sensation of your feet touching the ground. Notice the rhythm of your steps. Feel the air. Hear the sounds around you. This is going to be the practice that grounds you. So Yes, we're completely moving away from hugging a tree in a park and you can do that if you want, but we really want to learn to be present and at one. This can be incredibly calming because you're taking yourself out of the doing and you're going into the being, feeling yourself breathing, feeling the air, feeling the way you are connecting with the earth, you are connecting with walking. Another really great practice for ABM is mindful eating. Now, I know mindful eating has probably got a bit of, you know, flack and slack lately, especially in the age that we're all living. I'm talking about mindful eating as in not rushing through your meals. I'm talking about taking the time to savor every bite. I'm talking about noticing textures flavors, smelling the aroma of your food. Eating mindfully enhances your enjoyment. It enhances your experience of this. And on top of that, it also aids in digestion. It helps you get in tune with your body's hunger and your fullness. Now let's bring mindfulness into the workplace with mindful working. So ABM is about setting an intention for your work day. I want you to just take a few moments as you're sitting at your computer and I want you to focus on breathing before diving into your tasks and have a think about what you would like to create in your day, whether that's a beautiful team environment that you want to be able to get through your tasks today in a wonderful way that makes you feel calm if you want to bring enjoyment, enhancement, if you want to bring more focus into your workplace, I really want you to think about this before you dive into your tasks. A lot of us go through our every single day and we were taught to do that. This isn't a reflection of something that you should already know. We were actually taught to do all those things. This is about bringing mindfulness and ABM back to you so you can set intentions and you can take charge of your day. We want to take short little breaks Every two to three hours, that's when our our neuros start firing and they're sort of like, hey, okay, we've been firing along the same sort of way for a very long time. We've been firing along the same path for a long time. So now it's time to take a break. Every two and a half, three hours, it would be wonderful if you could get up and you could stretch or you could 
breathe deeply or focus or play a brain game or go get yourself a cup of tea. These mini breaks can really boost your productivity and reduce stress. When we wake up in the morning, I always like to say that the brain is almost like a light bulb. So when we wake up in the morning, the light bulb is on. And as it gets through the day, it starts to get brighter and brighter and brighter and it starts to get hotter and hotter and hotter. So when we do something like a meditation practice or a mindful practice, it's like just turning it off for that little bit so that it can cool down. So by the time we are able to go home and get to bed and go to sleep, our brain is not on fire. Our thoughts are not racing so that we can have those beautiful deep sleeps that we all love, cherish, and definitely need as well. So when we can add these things into our day, we're actually creating space for that brain to oh, take a breath and the almost like that light bulb to cool down just for a f- few moments. So we're not sort of getting to the end of the day scattered with our brain trying to remind us of all the things that we have to do tomorrow and keep us really safe and it's rushing through our head and it's 10 p.m. and we're laying there and we're like, oh my God, I need to write that down because I'm going to forget it. So when we start to bring in these action-based mindfulness practices during the day, what we're doing is we're giving our brain some of that beautiful space to cool, to cool down and to calm down. And when we can do that, we're actually creating a more peaceful environment for ourselves, for our nervous system and for people around us as well. Another one of my favorites is mindful breathing. Now, mindful breathing is when you feel overwhelmed (laughs) and you've probably heard it from so many people before when they sigh. And I know people who sigh and they don't even realize that they're sighing. I remember seeing it in the like in the lunchrooms all the time. It was so funny. You'd see people sort of towards that midday break without even realizing you'd be like, oh, big sigh. And they'd be like, what? Like it was so unbeknownst to them that they were even doing it because they were holding, holding, holding until they got this break. So when we're doing a practice of mindfulness breathing, it really is about taking a moment to pause and focus on your breath. Inhale deeply through your nose for a count of four and exhale slowly through your mouth. And I want you to repeat this a few times and you'll notice an immediate sense of calm and clarity because what we're doing is we're starting to really calm down the nervous system. Integrating mindfulness into your daily activities doesn't require extra time. It just requires a shift in your intention because we're all incredibly busy. (laughs) Every single one of us has got a schedule that is already full. So what I'm talking about is those few little two minutes, five minute pockets that we have so we can supercharge your wellness By practicing ABM, you'll find yourself more present, more relaxed, more in tune with your surroundings. This simple yet profound shift can lead you to greater overall well-being and ultimately success. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more insights on how we're integrating science and wellness for your overall transformation for success. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you're ready to take your journey to the next level, join my monthly Mindset Community Membership. And yes, that is a mouthful. Here you'll gain access to exclusive content, monthly rituals, and a supportive community of like-minded leaders striving for excellence just like you. Thank you for watching and remember that mindfulness is not just a practice, but it is a way of living that can elevate your daily experiences and your life. I will see you in the next video. Bye.